Hi, I'm Steve Westfall, a channel development engineer for the East Region here at Banner. Uh, today we're going to talk about safety touch buttons and anti-tie-down controls that go along with those touch buttons. As you see here, I've got a few examples of where these could be used. And notice that there's always a designated area where there's going to be two hands that are controlling the starting and the stopping of the motion itself. On Banner, we have these STB buttons. STB buttons, followed by um, the rest of the model number, which I'll show you the difference here in a bit, those are what's going to provide the ability to be able to have your fingers where they belong distance-wise from the hazard to start the activation. But by themselves, these are really not going to carry a whole lot of safety until they are actually tied into something that's going to monitor those two buttons so that everything is working correctly. But these do have redundant controls internally, which makes them uh, the highest rated type of safety buttons that you can use for these applications. And there's actually, uh, instead of a pressure that you have to hold with somebody else's type of two hand buttons where it's a mandatory uh, pressure you've got to administer, all we're doing here in that little cavity is resting our finger in there, which at that point, it actually blocks this uh, infrared beam that's going across. So it's very, very easy to use and very ergonomic so that you're not getting any type of pressures on your hands or wrist at all. Now they're available in two types of models. And the first one is just having solid state outputs that are rated at about 150 milliamps. And those are the STB followed by VP6. And there's a number of models uh, where the end of that is going to accommodate either a flying lead cable or specific types of quick disconnects, whether it's a micro style or the mini style. That's all going to be what uh, creates that end of that model number, if you will. Now, the other types that are used are going to be electromechanical complementary type contacts in there. And those models end with that v VR81 that you see here. So. These are something that's uh, going to have a, a center that comes in, a common, and now we're simply coming back wiring-wise with a normally open and a normally closed complementary output. Now, again, these are something that needs to be monitored to make sure that everything is working like they should, but also it's got to be something that's retrofitted into here. Now, anti-tie-down is a term that is used in the standards to define this type of application where you've got two buttons, whether you're pushing on something or simply setting your fingers in the buttons. It has to tie to something that's going to make sure that we've done this together. In fact, anti-tie-down refers to the ability to have two buttons where you are putting your fingers in at the same time within a half a second of each other. So it's definitely a mandatory thing that you need to do it together. Instead, if it wasn't anti-tie-down, you could simply block one, and now uh, the other one, you could put whatever you want in there, but in the meantime, your free hand is in there um, where it doesn't belong. So that's part of the deal is you've got to have anti-tie-down, which is going to be actually in the module that these are wired to. So that gives you safety ratings of category four. And what's more important is this rating of a type three C according to uh, international standard EN 574. Type three C means that you've got something that's got, just like we just showed, inside of those buttons, you have complementary outputs coming from two control circuits in each button. So that gives you the highest rating to be able to satisfy that type three C for the worst of hazards that you're using this on. So what's common for a lot of these applications, if you're just looking for a simple module, is our AT-FM-10K for one model number that you see here. That is the module that's looking for those two STB buttons that are coming into it. And by the way, it doesn't have to be our STB buttons necessarily, as long as you can accommodate that complementary input an on and an off state uh, coming from a solid state or the normally open, normally closed coming from mechanical buttons. But there is another model number that gives you a kit, and this kit's going to give you the two buttons along with the anti-tie-down module. 
Now, you've probably heard of our other types of control, uh, configurable control modules such as the uh, SC10 or the XS26. All of those models have that specific input that is looking for two-hand control. And now that it's wired into one of our uh, more accommodating configurable controllers, the logic is already in those controllers to be able to do this anti-tie-down thing that we're talking about. Thanks for watching.